Hey everybody, Tim here from the Tactical Defender on YouTube. And today what I wanna show you is the Maxpedition Vulture 2, which is my primary hiking pack. Uh, incredible bag, that's pretty much all I can say. It's an amazing bag. At the end of this video, I do wanna share with you a couple things that I may or may not like about this bag. There's a couple things, really not my complaints, it's complaints I've heard from other people. So stick around, watch the end of the video, and uh, well, let's get this review started, all right? All right, well, like I said, this is the Vulture 2 from Maxpedition. It is the three-day backpack. And uh, personally, I mean, it's my personal day pack. And I don't know how well it would do on a three-day hike, to be quite honest with you. But it is, regardless, an amazing, amazing pack. All right, so very simple. Like all other Maxpedition bags, all right, you're going to see a very common thing. One is extremely strong zippers. They do use, every one of their bags, they use, I believe it's number 10 YKK zippers. They always use paracord. The zippers are extremely, extremely strong. No matter where, whether it's, whether it's a zipper here, a zipper here, it doesn't matter. Their zippers are very, very strong. That is a YKK number 10 zipper. Another thing that they do all the time is 1000 denier ballistic nylon. Very, very strong nylon. I mean, this stuff really virtually is indestructible. Um, very thick. I personally don't feel that it, it really carries a lot of weight. It's, it's really quite light. Uh, as always, I'll have the more in the description box below here. But all their bags, YKK number 10 zippers, 1000 denier ballistic nylon. Another thing that I really, really like about Maxpedition is that they put very strong, I mean, their sewing is phenomenal. You're, you're literally gonna see this type of sewing on every one of their items. Th this sewing is not coming off, it's very strong. They have one inch nylon, very stiff nylon for all the PALS webbing. They have it on the front of this bag, on both sides. This side as well, put down this, uh, you know, on the side, you can put anything you want there. They have it on here, on the shoulder straps. All right, now, four pockets, we basically have, on this particular bag, we basically have three main compartments. Several of them actually have pockets inside of them, but the front pocket, and again, I'll have uh, the exact measurements in the, uh, the box below here, okay? Uh, below this video. They have one pocket here, small utility pocket I call it. It's actually a very good size. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. There are no pockets within that pocket. Then you have this one here, which is the second of the largest, but not the largest pocket, okay? And now this one here, I mean also very, very you can literally put a laptop uh, computer in there, uh, you know, a laptop. If you have a, a pad or something, you could put that in there, an iPad uh, or survival gear, which is basically what I use it for. And then within this pocket, you have a key keeper right here. You also have this pocket inside of the large pocket. You can put stuff in there, put some pens, you can put a map, snacks, anything you need in that pocket right there. All right, then the large pocket. Let's open this up. This is the large pocket. Pretty much takes up the whole size of the bag. The size of the bag makes up the whole pocket. Very large, fits a ton of gear. And within that pocket, you have this mesh pocket. Also with a YKK zipper. Very strong zipper, very strong pocket. You can put whatever you want inside there. 
more snacks, whatever. You want to put some uh, fire starting equipment, you can. All right, now there is another compartment, actually. I, I really don't want to call it a pocket, maybe a compartment. It's back here, uh, you know, where, where your back goes. Your back goes up against a very um, well padded area. It's a half zipper, which pretty much does half of the bag. You open this up, and then with inside here, you have a huge pocket. Now, in here, it's padded for two things. One, because you, you can put stuff in here, and you want padding against your back. And also, whether you have something or not, it's, it's something nice and soft against your back, you know, when you're hiking or doing whatever. Now, this here is for, well, pretty much whatever you want, but it was designed for uh, a 100 ounce water bladder all right and at the very top when you sew this you can see the hole there it would come out through the top of the bag and uh, for your mouthpiece there all right and we'll bring it around to this side while we have it here and the shoulder straps now I've had a lot of backpacks I'll be honest most of them were max edition backpacks and they were extremely comfortable. One of the best things about them are their um, shoulder straps. Their shoulder straps are very, very well reinforced. As you can see here, it's just, I mean, if you were to take this away, like most backpacks, it would just be sewn into the backpack. But not only is it sewn into the backpack, but then they have a two inch webbing in the backpack up and sewn onto the padding and then another one inch webbing with adjustments here you can tighten it down give it some slack and that is also sewn onto the shoulder strap to reduce some weight um, carry it a little bit more evenly on your body as well as take a lot of the stress off the actual padding the strap itself and that pretty much goes all the way down the bag which by the way is how it's connected on the bottom one of the biggest things that Max Edition, why I personally like Max Edition gear, is the sewing. I mean, the sewing is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, they're just their sewing is just incredible. And now they don't use just regular thread. They actually use a very high tinsel strength thread, very very strong. None of my packs. For years I've had them all and none of them are coming undone. There's no fraying, there's no, there's literally nothing at all whatsoever. None of my thread is coming undone, coming unsewn, it's not breaking. They have pals webbing, you know, up and down here, a couple D-rings here, you could put something here, I keep my, uh, my uh, tops whistle. As you know, you've probably seen the videos. I usually, now I usually have stuff on, on this bag. I have quite a few Max Edition as well as BDS Tactical pouches. They all, they all go on this bag via the PALS webbing and, and Molly straps and so on. This here is the sternum strap. Very, very strong. I usually put my SC number five knife right there hanging uh, tip up. Now, Max Edition also uses Duraflex buckles. Very, very strong Duraflex buckles. I mean, there's no doubt that they're gonna stay. On both sides of the bag, both sides of the bag here, we have more compression straps. YKK zippers, if you really fill up this bag, there's compression straps literally all over this bag. You tighten that down. We got two there. Got the sternum strap. We have these straps here as well as a couple up here to tighten down on the, uh, the shoulder straps. We have two on this side as well. All Duraflex buckles. Really strong. They can adjust in and out. And on the bottom, well, actually, right here we have another one. It comes over the top of the bag. It's a Y strap. And same thing, buckles in there to kind of tighten everything down. You, you know, it pretty much takes stress points off of all your zippers. Keeps everything nice, tight, nice, and compact. One of the, the features, well, among all the features, but there's one that I really, really enjoy or like that Max Edition does 
with, with all of their, uh, their packs. It's pretty much like the top portion of the pack and uh, where, where everything connects, everything kind of brought into the top of the bag. And personally, I, I think that's kind of where it all stems from. Um, everything's kind of brought into the top of the bag. I, I don't know how else I can say that. They always have the most incredible grab handles. I mean, really well, well made. It's a two inch, very thick two inch nylon webbing with a one inch nylon webbing put through and then they bend this over and they literally sew the crap out of that, right? You got X box stitch going on there, a whole bunch of stitching going on here. You have all your straps, your straps that go, the, the Y strap, right? That comes down here, goes over the top, through this, all this sewing here, and then comes down and it's connected again here to the shoulder strap. Um, I just can't say enough about that, how important that is. It's very strong. Their sewing is seriously phenomenal. It is very, very good sewing. Very strong. You grab onto this, you don't have to worry about your bag going anywhere. It's coming with you no matter what. You're not going to grab this and something's going to rip, something's going to tear. I just don't see it happening. And I, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm not easy on my gear at all. I, I, I really kind of, I don't want to say abuse it. I use it, right? I use it for what it's intended for. They make this stuff so strong, and I want to see what, what the limit is, what, what I can get away with and what I can't. So far, it's past everything I've ever tried to do with it. Really, really beautiful stuff. Very, very nice gear. Uh, I have a, a lot of it, to be quite honest with you. Uh, if I didn't say before, we do have paracord pulls on all of the uh, zippers. Nice little feature. You can change them out if you want. I just basically leave them. All right, everybody. Well, that is the brief overview of the Max Edition Vulture 2. And um, I have a lot of their gear. I absolutely love Max Edition gear. And there's two issues with this particular bag. One issue with all of their gear I have is that it's not made here in the United States. I would really like it to be, but it's not. I don't know what to tell you. It's just, it's not. The other thing is, and it's really not a huge deal. It's not, a, it's, but again, I, I want to bring you everything I can, okay? Everything I can think of. Max Edition gear is not very quiet. It's not an issue for me when I go hiking. Uh, I'm not out looking for animals. If I come across them, they pretty much have a good way of finding me. Um, this, their gear is actually quite loud. And I, and I say that I don't have that problem, but I've had several people that are into hunting. They're hunters or photographers and they really like their gear. But they said, if I'm trying to um, hunt, I'm trying to, you know, uh, what do you call it, track or sneak up on an animal, it's, it's very loud. You, you, you know, the animal hears you. And the other thing is, if they're like photographer and they're trying, they're sitting somewhere and they're trying to get, you know, the buckles, the zippers, and the material itself is a little bit loud. Um, if any one of those things are a problem for you, then, you know, maybe Max Edition's not for you. It's not an issue with me. I don't hunt and I, I honestly don't quite uh, go looking for animals to photograph, honestly. But, uh, but anyway, Max Edition Vulture 2, fantastic fantastic pack this is my hiking pack primarily my hiking pack and um it, it i mean literally will do anything you want it to um that's pretty much it i'm gonna get out of here i'm getting eaten alive by bugs where i'm at and uh, even though it is very beautiful this location i found but uh i do appreciate you watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet i please ask that you do i'm on facebook Instagram, Twitter, and whatever else. Every, it should be down in the box below. But as well as the description as far as the measurements, weight, and so on of this pack will be in the box below. I really do appreciate you watching this video, everybody. Thank you. Be well. Stay safe. And we'll talk soon, all right?